Hello again, everybody. It has been quite a while. Uh, if you've watched our little update video, you'll know why. <laughs> if not, basically, um, moved cross country, new job, business failed, pretty much ate up all the free time. However, it only took uh, a couple months before our, we're in our first hurricane. So, wasn't quite sure what to expect 100% because, you know, living in the Midwest, don't really cover a hurricane, it's just a bunch of like, ah, oh, it's wind and, and water. And so far, that has been accurate. Now, granted, um, we are still a ways out on it. Let me flip over the phone here. So as you can see, it's, this is current as of 10.22. Hurricane is still off the coast of Florida there. We're kind of in outer bands, have been for a while now. Um... Now with this, uh, I'm not going to try to downplay the severity of the storm. That would be dumb. Uh, it'd also be pretty heartless. Oh, the wind is picking up just a bit more than it was about five minutes ago. There, it's picking up a little bit more. We got the uh, gate closed in case any trees come crashing in. But, um, you know, we're used to tornadoes and stuff like that. Um, so far, it's just been a bunch of, a little bit of rain. Uh, a little bit of wind. So real quick here, you can see just a little bit of rain. Now it is raining more than it has been um, over the past, we'll say 12 hours at this point. But so far nothing too bad. So my plan kind of for this video is to update this. You know, it's first hurricane. If you watch somebody that normally, you know, is originally from Florida, they just kind of, <laughs> they're used to it. Kind of like what we would be with tornadoes or maybe with an earthquake. So uh, this is a totally new perspective for us. So we're going to record kind of what we see, what's going on. Um, as long as it's safe to do so, you know, if it, the winds are howling real bad, stuff's flying around out back, then obviously we're not going to, we're not going to record too much of that. But... We'll go ahead and give you, sorry, I'm not using the gimbal, I'm trying to save it for battery backup just in case. So if it's a little shaky, that's why. But we're going to go ahead and give you our kind of account of Ivan. Hopefully nothing too terrible happens. Well, hopefully nothing terrible happens, but unfortunately with the size of the storm, it will be quite a bit of damage. Um, so we'll see how uh, we can ride this thing out in Orlando. All right, hurricane made landfall about 15 minutes ago. Sorry, the washing machine's on in case we lose, or the dishwasher's on in case we lose power. Still just kind of light rain and some gusty winds, but that's about it. Kind of waiting for something else to happen at this point, but that's, yeah, that's, that's it. Alright, there's the current radar. So, 12.35, about two hours after the first video was taken, and it's basically uh, hitting Fort Myers right now, making landfall right there, or Punta Gorda. All right, it's been about two hours since the last little recording. It is 2.31 right now. Clearly see that it is on land there at Fort Myers. We are obviously up here. Let's go see what it looks like outside. All right, as you can see, rain, a little more of it. Wind, whoops, still is not that bad. At least not yet. It was getting kind of gusty not too long ago, but it seems to have quieted back down a bit. All right, it's been about two hours. It is just at 4.30. Uh, we're having a few hiccups with the internet, but that's about it so far. Let's take a peek outside. Still just a light amount of rain, but you can see that the wind is starting to pick up pretty good. So hopefully we're not out of internet for too long. Hopefully everybody's making through this just fine and uh, having no issues. Alright, there's current look outside. Wind is starting to pick up. Hopefully people aren't having too many issues currently. Um, we are getting gusts that are a little stronger than this. They were just bending pretty good. Oh, see, there we go. So you can see, if wind's starting to pick up, rain is about the same though. Alright. Two hour updates right at about 6.30, well, 6 about 25. On Wednesday, not really much rain anymore. However, 
Yeah, I see that wind. We're getting some decent gust of wind. And this thing's still several hundred miles from us, so, or at least probably about 150. So we'll uh, check back in at uh, 8.30. Still the 6.30, but that wind is actually starting to pick up quite a bit more than what it was earlier. Pretty sure this power line is probably going to snap at some point, because that tree right there keeps on pulling on it pretty hard. Are we done with the big gusts? Of course, everybody knows what's going to happen as soon as I turn the phone off and quit recording. I'm going to get a big old massive one. Looks like I may have been right. Maybe not. Yeah, that tree was basically a good 45 degree angle just not too long ago. There's a pretty good gust. Still not quite what it was doing not too long ago. Like all those trees are bent over at about 45 degree angle. Right before I started recording, of course. Alright, 8.30. It's dark. Really dark. That's even with the light on. You just kind of barely see the outline of the trees. Uh, not a lot of rain, but as you might be able to hear, there is a lot of wind. Um, if I can update it 10.30, I guess I will. If not, it'll be the morning. Ooh, lightning. Boy, what a difference 20 minutes will make. I don't know if you can really pick that up. That wind has really picked up. Just kind of watch the silhouette of the trees there. Really picking up. Okay, we came upstairs. To see if we get any, any better silhouettes. Hold on, let me figure out how to turn the light off. Is it. Uh, nope, not that switch. Well, I'm getting her figured out. There we go. Learn with me, folks. A little better silhouette. I'm going to turn that other light off real quick. Ooh, now we're in the spooky dark. Yeah, you can't quite, obviously it's a camera, you're not going to quite pick up everything as good as you would with the naked eye, but uh, yeah, 20 minutes has made a lot of difference. We're, we're starting to lose power. It's blinking in and out. Oh, of course it stops as soon as I turn the camera back on. It's literally right after the last one I just filmed. I'm waiting for that bzzzt and the, the line to go down. Listen to that wind. Yeah, we've got lightning kind of popping all around now too. I would definitely say we're starting to get to the brunt of it here. You can't quite pick up the power lines. You can see them, but barely. I think it's just a matter of time that they go down at this point. It is right at midnight 30 as I like to call it, so 12.30 in the morning. Um, a lot of wind, a lot of rain. Can't really show you anything outside because you wouldn't see it anyway. Uh, the eye, or I guess the center of the storm, whatever you want to call it, because I guess it's not really an eye anymore. It's supposed to be over in about an hour and a half. Um, according to Weather Channel, it has taken uh, Ian down to a Category 1. So nothing too terribly bad at this point. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. Hopefully everyone's still doing fine out there. Um, 
if I'm up at 2 o'clock, I will uh, kind of peek my head out there and see what it looks like. If not, I'll see everybody in the morning kind of for the uh, aftermath and a little bit more of a, should still be a tropical storm at that point. So it's just after 9, it's about 9.07 in the morning. Uh, the worst seems to have passed. We lost power a few times last night by the looks of it, just based on what was turned off this morning. Um, other than that, I don't see anything too substantial, so let's take a quick look outside. You can see there's still a little bit of wind, because I think it's still technically a tropical storm. Oh, there's a little bit of breakage. That's probably what caused the, uh, you can see it right there. That's probably what caused the uh, power issue last night. Yeah, that's quite a bit. We'll go out there and take a look here in just a minute. Alright, so we're outside probably still hear the wind. There's a few, you know, limbs down here and there. Uh, those older trees that I actually told the people I'm staying with currently that will probably break did break. Uh, other than that, I don't see anything too bad. And honestly, the power lines are probably better off for those breaking. Like I said, still a lot of wind. I think it's still a tropical storm just to the side of us here. So, got that going. And then I don't see a ton of damage around here, which is a good thing. All right, it is. Let's see what Mickey says. It's eleven thirty-four. Eleven thirty-four. Oh, 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 oh! It just went off. Let's say. Still raining. Wind's letting up. The animals. There's a bluebird just then, or a blue jay. Um, they're starting to come back out. So I would say uh, everything's pretty much done at this point. It is one in the afternoon on the 29th, and it is. All but over here. I did move the screen out of the way because it is raining a little bit and I don't want to get it in the house. It's kind of getting pushed this way, but wind stopped, rain stopping. Uh, all the chaos appears to be done.